Young man from Denham Springs believes a disability he acquired in an orphanage gave him a special gift to communicate with animals. And when horses or dogs are suffering from emotional pain after being abandoned or neglected, he's the one people call for help. Meg Ferris has his touching story. For 25 years, children and adults have been going to Laplace for a special kind of therapy. The Greater New Orleans Therapeutic Riding Center helps people with physical and cognitive disabilities grow in strength and mobility through the motion they get on the back of a horse. I mean, we've had some instances of, of children um, that were told that they would never walk, and the little boy is now walking with a walker and with crutches. For the children, it's not like going to a hospital for help. It's a time outside to socialize with others like them and volunteers while on the backs of calm horses. But last summer, executive director Anita Heffler got a call about a team of horses neglected in extremely bad shape. She decided to take them in. One was a stallion that had become feral, completely wild from not being touched or handled. It took us three attempts to get him. LSU went with us on the last trip. Mojo was calmed by becoming a gelding, but there was still a long way to go. We're working with him now. Okay. Um, we were able to put a halter on him. We were doing some desensitization stuff with him. But still, when veterinarians came, he would run wild in circles around his stall. Then one day, a young man, Joseph Lockwood, came to help. I don't remember many things, but... Joseph was born in Hungary and sent to an orphanage because his family did not have the means to provide a home. At two years of age, he got meningitis, which took his hearing completely. I used to eat fresh cherries. I used to drink milk. I used to play with some of my animals. Um, I remember the snow. We used to play in the snow. It was cold outside. Carol Montgomery of Baton Rouge knew she had to add Joseph to her family and adopted the toddler. But as Joseph grew up, something became apparent. An IQ of 156, that's classified as a genius. After begging for a horse, he got one at seven. With just three months of training, he became a champion in the hunter-jumper category. His trainer knew Joseph had something special. And she said, no, I want him to compete. She said, he has this innate ability. But there was something else special about Joseph, something even untamed Mojo could see. Joseph is a horse whisperer. When I looked at Mojo and, and felt him, we looked eye to eye. It's like we connected a bit, but our eye contact with one another caused him to calm. Joseph went to Virginia for formal training and became certified and licensed in equisage. He started a nonprofit called Hooves and Paws Equine and Canine Therapy, providing professional massage therapy services for horses and dogs, bringing them physical and psychological healing. And I can feel if a horse has like muscle spasms, I can feel it with my hands. He believes being deaf has helped his other senses become more fine-tuned. I think hearing people um, would not be as focused, but visually, and I think my senses are strong. And you know, it's funny because it's like dogs and horses know I'm deaf. Were you a little nervous about bringing Joseph in? Well, I wasn't nervous. I just didn't know what to expect. Mojo had never been touched everywhere, and he was so defensive about being touched at all. But as soon as those two, those two locked eyes, um, they had a great, great working relationship. He, he completely trusts Joseph. Joseph has worked with neglected dogs, too. His own horse is deaf. He's worked with a horse with pain from a prosthetic leg. She lost it when a dog attacked her after Katrina. He knows when they have aches and pains and anxiety. It's like we think the same, we connect. I connect with horses. I can feel what they feel. And he's not giving up on Mojo. He needs to improve a little bit more, I can tell you that, but he will be able to be ridden. I can tell you that right now. From Laplace, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. Well, he is doing some amazing work. And for more on the horse therapy program in Laplace and Joseph's horse and dog program, you can find links on our website.